people get access to your LinkedIn and they just start scrolling your resume and uh, you know everything uh, comes through. So, but thanks for that. Um, I don't know if I'm that talented or not. Uh, I think a session, uh, what Irene did on gaming and the panel was here, definitely relates to what I'm gonna talk next, right? Uh, so Undeads is a great project uh, that we did. Uh, by way of background, by the way, I've, I've been in blockchain since 2015. At the early, early days, when uh, there were a lot of naysayers and they said, hey, uh, uh, blockchain's not gonna work and uh, we don't know what this is. Uh, not to kind of give away my age, uh, but I kind of like, go back all the way to the enterprise days. So enterprise software, when you had on-prem software, there was no cloud, and then uh, you know, in, in about 2005, 2006, that's when the emergence of cloud happened and Salesforce started coming in. So that's web two, right? So you went from web one to web two, and now basically we're in web three. So I don't know what the big deal is. Why do we have to convince everyone here that Web3 is a thing, and Web3 is here to stay, Web3 will be big, and blah, blah, blah. Guys, just go back uh, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, uh, what we were doing, there was no internet, right? So it's the infancy of the internet. So you had 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Tomorrow, you'll probably have 4.0. So today, we are 3.0, so that's the new revolution. It's in its infancy, that's what I say, because a lot of people don't understand it. When DARPA actually, uh, the US organization DARPA, when they launched the internet, uh, nobody knew what the internet was. It was just a protocol. Again, the internet was a protocol which basically connected peer to peer, one person to the other, and it was just a transfer of data from you know one place to the other one. So, and over the years, things started to get better and better and better. Uh, you had uh, you know then you had a website, then you had email, uh, then you had mobile, and then apps, and, and now we're at DApps. So basically, it became an omni-channel uh, thing. So I think that's kind of like a four one one, which is basically an information update on what the blockchain is today and what this Web3 is. So it's just uh, iterations of the early internet. And it's, it's, it's here to stay. It's not going to go uh, anywhere. In fact, it's just going to get better and better. So uh, why am I on stage? Uh, why talk about Web3 or this project Undeads? Um, I've done a lot of projects. I was employee number five in Near Protocol, and I actually launched a protocol. So Near is basically an equivalent of what Ethereum is, Solana, uh, Cosmos, Definity, um, a a a a AVAX, Avalanche, uh, all those protocols, they're all great, right? There's room for everyone. Uh, it's not winner uh, take all. Uh, we can't really say like Ethereum is just gonna win this race and forget about the other protocols or Binance Smart Chain. Uh, they're all good for the ecosystem. It's all part of the ethos. So I come from that ethos. Um, I definitely launched that product from soups to nuts. Today they're about a $13 billion uh, market cap, so uh, that project has done hu huge. So now, the problem with these protocols is you're launching protocols, uh, but they need fuel, and we are the fuel. So they need users. They need users like you. These protocols are not going to work. Like Google Cloud, AWS, uh, Microsoft Azure, they're not going to work if you don't have users and you don't have bandwidth on it. What, what are they going to do? They can't even stretch it. Um, so that's why it just gets better and better and better, right? So just think about these protocols as uh, uh, just uh, you know just like the AWS uh, of today. Um, so with that, uh, what we do is we bring gaming to our users. And everyone was a gamer uh, initially in the earlier days. I am, I've been gaming uh, almost 30 plus years. I've played on every single major console that you can think of. So I've given thousands of hours uh, to gaming, but the gaming hasn't given me back. I mean, yeah, it's a great stress reliever, but I haven't earned anything. So this is the play to earn. Um, what the panel was talking about uh, earlier, that this is the evolution of gaming. Now gamers expect that if I'm spending time on your platform and I'm giving you my time, I should be making some money and I should be earning something. Um, and rightfully so, they should be doing. So today, um, there's a lot of play to earn games. Um, they're not as sexy, if you will. Uh, I think the UI UX is very clunky and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not a fun uh, experience for our users. Uh, so I think that's, that's the type of problem that we're gonna solve today. Uh, so let me just quickly run something, um, if you can dim the lights a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna run a bit of a trailer, like what kind of a game we're building. So you kind of have a bird's eye view and you really understand this is what's coming next.
Yeah, that's just a uh, teaser to uh, what's coming. But as you can see, I mean, the quality of the game, it is phenomenal. It's off the hook. Uh, we've partnered with one of the biggest studios out there on the planet in Hollywood uh, that are actually a game studio, make movies, uh, all of the good stuff, amazing storytellers. Uh, so, so we, uh, I mean, when, when I basically took this challenge on, I said it's going to be second to none. It has to be a triple A rated game. Uh, and that's basically the, the, the problem with most of the games today. Uh, it's just going down this rabbit hole uh, that they can't come out of it. Uh, they're, they're clunky, uh, the design is not that good, uh, the play to earn model is not that good, the tokenomics sucks. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's okay, right? So we're, we're all learning together. Uh, it's, it's just the uh, industry that we're in. So I think uh, that's the problem that we're here to solve, right? How do we shape um, the game fi industry and make it really, really good. Uh, how many of you have uh, played like, uh, for example, uh, GTA? Show, show of hands, Grand Theft Auto, yes, everyone. L look, look around you, right, look at you. Uh, so you already know what, what this is. So that's the level of game that we're trying to bring, um, uh, you know, uh, to, to the Web3 uh, platform. So it's, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be healthy, it's gonna be amazing for, uh, for, for everyone. That's, that's the mission. Uh, the team is great. Uh, we have a, a phenomenal advisors. Uh, we've got guys from, uh, who come from the gaming industry. I'm not gonna name names right now, they're all on the screen. Uh, but these guys are solid players. And no project is su so successful without a great team. If you don't have a team, forget it. Uh, it's, 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 it's not gonna work. I learned this very early on in my career. Uh, where uh, not just, just raising like $300 million uh, in my career, but going IPO, creating five unicorns, uh, including Near, Proppy, and there's a lot of other ones to mention. Um, so uh, it's, it's not that the project was great, it's really about the team, because the team has the ability to pivot and change and because things, uh, things move fast and uh, you know, uh, these amazing players uh, can make things happen. So it's all about the team. Uh, again, let's just not do it a, a death by PowerPoint. I know you've been sitting here and you've been looking at a lot of slides and so forth, and uh, obviously time is limited. But <clears throat> these are some of the partners. Uh, Warner Brothers Studios, uh, we are working with these guys. Doesn't get bigger than Warner Brothers, right? Uh, uh, they make phenomenal movies. They made, I mean, they made Space Jam, they made Batman, they, you know, and they make these games also that are on the console. They have an entire ecosystem. So once they get behind a project, it's merchandising, it's marketing, right? It's, it's, it's advertising everywhere around the world, like uh, New York Times Square, everywhere. So, uh, so we're very, very lucky uh, that we've been able to partner with a studio uh, that's basically backing us up um, and, and vice versa so so uh, they they understand uh, the potential of uh, what uh, blockchain gaming could be and what gamefi is but they're also kind of like a little bit lost they're like we need the new new school we need we need people like you who can come and teach us uh, what gamefi is and show us the ropes and so forth we have the infrastructure we can provide you with the storytelling and characters and so forth so I think that's that's been great um, and yeah like uh, even Amazon is a part partner immutable X uh, these guys are a partner uh, all these guys are amazing and uh, their household names uh, some, something also coming up uh, we're working with uh, the studios uh, uh, from Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft, uh, those guys. So there's a lot of conversations where like big time studios are uh, actually interested in our game and what we're doing. Uh, and the partnership is just not limited to these guys on, on the screen, the top tier ones. Uh, it could be you guys as well. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring uh, your NFTs into the game. So imagine if you have a character and you want to bring that character, let's say you have a CryptoPunk, right? Or you have a bored ape and you want to have that ape in the game that's a possibility. So you can have your character play as your character in the game. Uh, so that's another challenge that nobody has been able to done before. Uh, so we can basically port your NFTs into our game, uh, which makes the experience much more personal, uh, personalizable. Uh, so I think that's, uh, that's, that's, that's uh, uh, pretty awesome as well. Unreal Games as well, uh, uh, you know, they're uh, there as well. So what's going on? Where, where are you guys at? Uh, we are developing super, super fast. Uh, I mean, almost 35% were there, uh, a little over, but uh, our launch is going to be uh, sometime around in uh, 2023, early Q1. Uh, so we're really pushing hard. We're, the, 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 uh, we're about 60 people now uh, and growing really rapidly fast. So we have offices here in Bangkok. I'm from San Francisco. Um, 
So if you, if you hear my voice a little bit shot out, I've been on a road show starting from San Francisco all the way to like, you know, Texas, Miami, and then I was in London, cold weather, got sick a little bit, got on the plane, now in Asia, I'm doing another road show. Uh, I'll be in Saudi, I'll be in Qatar and a couple of other places in Dubai. Uh, they're also blockchain fans and, uh, you know, a lot of investors and a lot of folks, uh, we, we've been getting a lot of love from these guys and they're like, you gotta come, you gotta come, you gotta come. So I guess that's the job, right? Uh, when you become a CEO, it's just not managing a day-to-day -day thing. Uh, you kind of become a kind of a salesman. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's, that's kind of like what I'm doing. So doing a bit of a road show. Um, so a lot of people ask like, where are you? Is this interest in the market? The market is shaky with uh, FTX and whatever happened and it's a bear market. How can you even go and raise money and whatnot? I've already raised over a million bucks. Like, uh, you, you know, when you have good projects, the money come to you, you don't have to go to the money. Uh, so I think that's, that's where we've been really, really blessed. And it's been, uh, it's been, uh, it's been really, really Really amazing uh, for us that uh, we've been able to do this. Um, uh, I, I want to give a shout out to this guy, Nobody Eat. Uh, I don't know if you know him or not, but definitely uh, follow this guy. He has like 30 board apes or something, and uh, you know, uh, more than 20 million dollars of NFTs and crypto punks and whatnot. Uh, this guy's a legend in the space. So if you're into NFTs, uh, it, uh, look, dude. He looked into the project and he's like, "This is a no-brainer, slam dunk, boom." He's like, "Here, here's the money. Just talk to me later, whatever. Uh, <laughs> what you guys are doing." So we have a lot of, and this, this. This is just one of the individuals that I'm talking about. Uh, so there's a lot of backers, like individual backers, not just institutional investors, uh, but um, you know, individual investors who are really, really uh, hyped up about the product and, and the project, and uh, they just want to uh, you know, put their money where their mouth is at. Um, so I know I have a couple of minutes left, so uh, again, I promise you guys this is not going to be a death by PowerPoint where I'm sitting here and lecturing you guys. So I do want to leave a couple of minutes for just Q&A. So yeah, with that, that's my time. I got questions for you guys. I'll take questions. Yeah, there you go. That's that's a brave guy right there, man, in the white shirt. Good for you, man. I can't hear you. Yeah, I think that's 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 a uh, that's a great question. Uh, right now, we are at using Unreal. Uh, we're using we we're using those guys. Uh, they were on the board, uh, but we're not married to just Unreal. Uh, it could be. Uh, you know something else as well. So my strategy would be to build a multi-chain gaming, uh, you know, company and just not be married to one, uh, uh, you know, one engine. I've got some AWS backing in there as well, so we do use cloud infrastructure. Uh, so there's a couple of things that we're basically using, but uh, for now it's Unreal Engine. Yeah, great question. I mean, they're they're top tier. If you work with Unreal. Uh, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can build whatever you want to build with it. They're phenomenal. The speed, the scale, the breadth is just is just great. But do you have uh, competition, I mean, the eSport in your games? Do I have competition with other games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, eSport, eSport. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, so uh, you, can, you can create communities, you can create uh, rooms, and you can create competition, and then uh, people can come in and compete each other. So let's say if you are in your classroom and you're a uh, red class, uh, you can go compete with the B class, right? And you can have uh, five on five, six on six, whatever you want to do it, you can create that. Uh, and you can have that uh, so competition. You that if, if you finish your platform, you ready to expand into the Southeast Asia or over the world, right? Correct. Yes, okay. correct. Cor yeah, it's, it's, it, this is global, by the way. This is not local. So we, we don't intend to have it as, as, a, as a local thing. So, okay. yeah. So, so think about Fortnite. Think about Call of Duty. Right. Think about all those uh, all those amazing games. Uh, what people have been doing, and it's bringing the global community together, right? And they, and they can play, and they can do all of that. Uh, one thing I do want to mention: uh, we are working with Meta, formerly Facebook, uh, to bring VR into the game. So I think VR is going to be uh, in for the game since day one. Uh, that's what we're focusing on. VR is very hard, by the way, to integrate into Web3 gaming. It's the hardest thing to do right now. And those are the type of problems and the challenges that we're solving. Yeah, that's great. Because I'm, I'm going to do the VR eSports Stadium in Thailand. Maybe we can join together. Come, come catch me later after this session. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, question. Uh, so you mentioned the partnership with Immutable. Yeah. Uh, are you guys going to release your collections on their marketplace? Yeah, some of them, yes. We're going to release on the marketplace, yes. 
Uh, I actually do have a call with those guys in uh, in about uh, maybe 12 hours or something. Uh, so we are talking about that. Yes, how we can launch uh, like like exclusives and non-exclusive and so forth. And then we want to bring your NFTs into into the marketplace as well. So how do we do that? Uh, and then people are also interested in actually uh, trading. Uh, their characters, if the character becomes so popular in the game, they want to trade, uh, maybe for money or whatever, uh, that's up to the user. Uh, so we, we are in talks with that as well. So how do, how do they do that? And monetize uh, you know, the player. So it, let's say if you have a player, uh, you know, let's just say Gen X, right? And the player is doing amazing, they have a lot of kills, and you know, it's, it's a great player, and that, that's the avatar that everyone wants, and that's the skin that they want, they're gonna have to pay for that. Uh, so it's kind of like bragging rights and so forth. And if you did that and you had a thousand kills in the game, uh, and you believe that uh, you know, your character's worth five eat, more power to you. And there's probably somebody out there who's gonna, who's gonna pay for that. So I think that's the incentive. That's why it's play to earn. I got one minute. Questions? You guys are easy. This, this is a very easy room, by the way. There you go, lollipop. What about something that's not in the deadly side? Some, something what? Something not in the dark side, in the dead side. You, I can see that you're focused on the undead. How about the living? Oh, on, uh, how about on the living? Uh, well, the game is undead, but we're, we're, not, uh, we're not limited to uh, one game and one genre. So you start with a genre, right? So I think what we envision is undeads will actually morph into some more of a st uh, you know, studio, and then we'll launch other games, um, uh, kind of like Ubisoft, you know, or Warner Brothers and so forth. They have more characters and so forth. But it's baby steps, honestly. We have to do this right. If we do this right, then other characters come, right? The living and so forth and whatnot. Uh, but we, f what we felt like, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the RPGs are the best way to attract uh, some of the users, and this is the feedback that we got, and people love, uh, or they, they love playing uh, RPGs. So that's what we went for. There was another question here in this section. Yeah, you, there you go. Hello, hello. I'm Game 5 Builder. Uh, do you think a real gamer will go out of their way to name Ms. Meet Musk? Real, real gamer. VR gamer and MetaMask? Uh, such as I'm gamer, but uh, I don't like Meet Musk. Yeah, uh, so again, uh, uh, like I said, I'm, we're not married to one platform or just MetaMask or uh, a certain way of how you uh, use a certain dApp. So I think it's gonna be open and scalable. We're agnostic, the word is agnostic. We really don't care. Like we're, we're, we're not about like limiting users. I want like everyone to basically play and earn. Uh, so it's not gonna be, you know, just, just MetaMask. Uh, you can do Trust Wallet, you can do Exodus, you can do any other, you know, you know Wallet, Valora, uh, Coinbase, um, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. So we're, we're gonna keep it open for everyone. Cool. So with that, uh, I'm here. Uh, I'll be in the corner. Uh, I'm here tomorrow as well. So if you guys have any, any questions, let me know. Uh, I am on the road. We are raising money. Uh, if you guys are interested and you want to be a part of the project, uh, come talk to me. Uh, but again, it's not an obligation. I'm not here to like again uh, sell anything, and it's a hard sell. And you know, you guys have to come and invest in the project and uh, you know all that uh, good stuff. Uh, got great investors, uh, great backing. But if you are interested, uh, come talk to me. I'm happy to have that conversation as well. Thanks guys, that's my time.